Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. If you haven't seen my last video, you should go check it out. But I'm doing this video because I asked you guys in under the comment section of my last video, what color did you want to see me paint my nails? A lot of people was like, no, don't paint them at all. But a lot of people like paint them. But I wanted to paint them. It's been a minute since I painted them, so I just wanted to go ahead and paint it. And I decided to do the French tip to somebody requested, but it has in pink. And I like the other pink and I just want to try something different. So first I use, I put my clear polish coat on first because you always want to put the first coat of the clear polish to protect your nails and everything like that. And just to make sure that the paint goes on smoothly. So I couldn't find my French tip dividers that I usually have so I just improvised, did it DIY style so I just got some tape. Me and my roommate were actually painting our nails at the same time, so we both just like use like tape to like put on my fingers. You'll see like later on in the video, but I use that to um, separate it. So when I take the tape off, like you'll make a good line crease. I finished painting my like, rest of my nails. It took a minute to dry because the, the paint was kind of thick, but you know it, you know it dried smoothly and like the brush was okay. So it didn't really it probably took like 20 minutes to dry. So it wasn't too bad, not from my usual paint dry time. But you can see me like now I'm cutting off the tape because um, it kept sticking to my fingers, so I just use scissors. It makes oh, like a good crease. It'd be better if I had my French tip um, separators. That way, you can make like a more rounded, more like realistic look. I mean, just, they're all kind of like straight lined, but it's okay. It's just worth what I got. It may look kind of sloppy, but it's like my nails are uneven, so it's like I'm gonna have to cut them down soon so they're like kind of match, so they won't look too crazy. And then I just go over with my second coat. I usually do like one or two coats and I just let it dry in between so they just don't you know so that it can dry and you know it won't smear or nothing like that you know like be crisp So yeah, you know, it, look, it looks pretty good, but I'm showing you guys this, okay, I recently have two cracks in like two of my nails, so they're breaking. What I did is like, I took like, you know, some of the coat and I just like stuck it together until like, I'm ready for them to come off. But I'm gonna have to cut them off pretty soon. I don't want to, but just know, if I don't make one, I will show a process, but they have to come off, so. I'm probably gonna show you like a video of me like cutting off if y'all wanna see that too. But these are some of the paints that I use. I got these like, you know, white. I'm painting my toes, so that's what the white is for. So yeah, I may not use it, but that's, I just had it on the side. But I, you know, now I'm using my tape with my other hands and I have Q-tips on the side. Cause like when like I'm done, I go over and put like the, nail polish remover off and I like clean up the sides like I usually do.
So it just looks crazy, but I wanted to paint it to show y'all, you know, colors. Because next time I do my nails, I'm probably gonna do like black or something. I haven't done black in like a couple of years, so I think I'm gonna do that. But you know, these are actually like my long nails. I think this is the longest my nails have like been, which is crazy. Like without them breaking, I don't know why, but my thumbs, you know, oh, it's it broke, but you know, it hasn't done that in a while, but. I just have to work out next time. you guys in the next video. Bye.